Mr. Garage here, and in this video, we are gonna change the oil in the lower unit on this. Now, to do it on these uh, Mercury 2.1 series um, outboards, so 75, 90, 115, Pro XS, yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, to do it on these, you have to take the prop off because Mercury was really cool, and they put the drain for the lower unit behind the prop. Now, they did this for good reason. I can imagine an engineer arguing this in a meeting somewhere saying that if we put it there instead of on the outside, then it's going to make people take the prop off to check for line in the prop. I, I get it, but it's annoying. So uh, yeah, we're going to take the prop off and get to it. So what we need for this job, besides basic hand tools, a one and a sixteenth uh, socket, we need a 10 millimeter to get the drain plug out, and we need a flathead screwdriver to get a little side plug out. We're going to need some gear oil. Now, Previously, I use aftermarket engine oil on the outboard engine itself, but for gear oil, it's just a straight 90 weight. I use the Quicksilver stuff. Why? Because I can get it at Walmart and it's not that expensive. Um, it's a blue in color and this little pump cap with a fitting to refill the lower unit, you can even get that at Walmart. So all these parts are just carried at Walmart. They're readily available. It's not hard to change your lower unit uh, gear oil. So yeah, that's what we're going to be using for fluid to put back into the lower unit. All right, to take the prop off, very easy task. So we have a washer behind this brass lock nut and the washer will be um, bent up against this brass nut to prevent the nut from ever coming off in the water and your prop falling off. That would be a really bad day. So all we need is a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna bend this washer tab back flat and then we take a one and a one sixteenth socket and we're gonna back this nut off and then we can just pull the prop right off if it's been greased right, which I believe it has. So. Uh, let me go ahead and flatten this washer out and then uh, we'll get the prop off. Okay, here we go. Flattening the washer. Take our flathead screwdriver. Should be a chisel, but hey, universal tools, right? So we're gonna go ahead and tap this kind of flat. And let's get this kind of up in there. There we go, should tap flat. We are gonna take our one and a sixteenth uh, socket. This is not an impact, shame on me, but it's only one and sixteenth I have. Put our impact on here. There we go. Got our brass nut off. We are gonna grab our prop. Actually, first we're gonna grab this washer. Grab our prop. And there we go. Props off. And this is the prop shaft and we have this brass washer. Now this is conical inside, so it only goes on one way. So we're gonna take a quick look here. We're gonna check, make sure we don't have any line wrapped around, make sure the seal looks good, make sure nothing looks like it's leaking. Um, everything looks really good. So I'm gonna pull the camera out of here and we're gonna look down underneath. There is our drain nut and that's what we're gonna be removing to um, take out all the oil out of the lower unit. Okay, so how I drain the oil is I've got this little rectangle tin dish and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim up the motor real quick. Just enough to slide this dish underneath and we'll put it about right there and then the skeg will grab it and kind of pull it back. The reason I do that is because oil always drips down the skeg and makes a mess. So this is kind of the cleanest way to do it. There we go. We don't want to punch a hole in the pan, so we don't want to go too low, but that's it. So we've got our little oil drain pan right down here and I'll pull the bolt and we'll start draining the fluid. Okay, so we are taking out the drain bolt. It is a 10 millimeter. And in case you've never seen one, that's what a 10 millimeter looks like. They're elusive, hard to find. A little mechanic humor there. And we're going to take this bolt out. It's a long one. Okay. And oh no, we've got no fluid draining out. I must be empty. No, not the case. Actually, um, we got to take off this little side plug. And that's going to let um, air into the lower unit. And that is going to let it drain. So, take this little guy out so we can get air. 
And there it goes, and we're draining. So we're gonna let this uh, drain out, and then we'll get back to it here in a little bit, and I'll show you guys how to fill it back up. So this is your gear oil drain. Now what you want, if you're using the Mercury gear oil, which is kind of a bluish green color, is you want it to be transparent and uh, just really clean looking. If it looks milky or it looks brown, that means you've got water in your lower unit and probably your shaft seal or the seal that's uh, below the water pump is probably leaking. So what you're looking for, we'll tilt this up a little bit. See that real beautiful transparent blue color? that's what you want in this gear oil. So that's what you're looking for. If it looks anything else or anything other than that, then you may want to replace your seals or take a look at the, the seal underneath the water pump. So, Okay, I'm back. This thing has finally drained. So we don't do anything else. We don't put our, our upper plug back in. What we're going to do is we're going to attach this little outlet to the drain plug hole and we're gonna pump gear oil in it until we get fluid coming out that plug. So, let's go ahead and do this. this line's kinda of stiff. You hold on to the line kinda of like um, you do in a, with the tube for the oil drain. We're gonna screw this in, just a few threads, and we're gonna start pumping gear oil in. And this refills the lower unit. can see it I'm just pumping it probably gonna run out in this particular container I'll have to switch containers we're just gonna keep pumping like I said until oil comes out that plug hole up top and then I'll show you the next step oh there we go okay so now that we got gear oil coming out the hole we're gonna take the plug and we're gonna put it back in I can do this with gloves. Bleed a little out, a little more, maybe a pump or two more. Take our flathead screwdriver. And get that nice and snug. Okay, so this is full. You put the plug back in, so that way it kind of seals the top and it prevents all the fluid from draining back out when I remove this piece here. go a little bit coming out because I overfilled it just a tad right, drain bolt Put drain bolt back in As I was saying before my camera so rudely ran out of SD card spaces, I'm going to um, raise the motor up. I'll leave the pan there overnight so that uh, all the gear oil can drip down into the pan. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get our prop on. So uh, I kind of already slid that washer on, but that's a conical washer. It only goes on one way because that's tapered. So we're going to slide this washer on. And we're not going to re-grease it. I got plenty of grease on there, but use Mercury's PTFE grease on the shaft normally. So we're going to take our prop. Gonna try to get it on here nicely and that's it so we're going to take the washer that we had i'm going to put it on and i'm not sure if you can see it so if i can grab this um, but there's these two little wings and there's these two little divots so we're going to put that washer on so those two little kind of forks grab onto those divots and then we're going to take our shaft nut Gonna put it back on. I'm gonna grab our impact, hold that with my foot, hold this washer here and not impact my finger. And here we go. Okay, that's on. That's probably too tight because that's in Ugga Duggas and not in foot pounds. There we go. I'll torque that down in a second with a torque wrench. Um, you should use a deep socket, one in a sixteenth. This is all I have right now, but uh, that's all I've ever had. It does fine. 
Um, that's it. So once we get this torque down, we'll take one of the tabs of this washer and we'll bend that tab flat against the nut. Our install is done, our lower unit oil is changed, and we are good to go. Um, if you like what I do on video, subscribe. I do all kinds of random stuff. Check out my other videos. I'm always doing something new. I'm not just one topic, not the same thing. So I appreciate you watching. Talk to you soon. Mr. Garage here. I wanted to close out the video really fast with a promotion about my t-shirt and the organization that that t-shirt came from, Cast for Kids. If you guys have a boat and it's safe and you have the time, look up to see if there is a Cast for Kids event in your area. You're not going to be sorry. They, it's just an amazing experience. They put on a heck of an event and um, it's going to get kids out, get them fishing, doing things that, that they may never have the chance to do again. But again, I'm just promoting them. Cast for Kids, any of my boating videos, I'm going to try to end the video with this little promotion. But uh, seriously, guys, look it up online, Cast for Kids.